When did this start? The 14th? The 11th. No. The 11th? August okay. the 11th. Okay. Started the 11th. It's now the... So 10 days. It's been 10 days. You still have thousands, thousands of people in shelters. Um, and unfortunately, tens of thousands of homes completely destroyed. It's awful. It, so, it's not even for myself, just... It's, it's like a wasteland. If you go in certain neighborhoods, they cleaned up a little bit out here. This stuff has been sitting out here for a while. I know. But it's it's like a wasteland driving through Baton Rouge. So. It's kind of a little bit like a war zone. I was in Mississippi last night and stayed there because driving down here, once I got into Mississippi, I it's like every news I heard on the radio was flash flooding in Baton Rouge. And I'm like, it's it's, it's going on. It was in Mississippi. We left here. We got we got rescued. We were in Mississippi. You got what? Rescued. Rescued? Yeah, this whole street was gone. Full of water. You couldn't even walk. It, it was just awful. It was it's It was a shock. I had yeah. a video. It, it was a shock. And it happened probably in a matter of an hour and a half. Two hours. The flooding. Yeah, it, it's probably from three to one. It's like when there's a problem and there's nothing that you can do about it. It's kind of like pray. That's all you can do. Well, I'm <laughs> sure you get. Much else we can do. And I'm sure you get to know how. Okay, I can only control so much. <laughs> I stopped in. Denim Springs because mm -hmm. I needed to go to a drugstore. Uh, Were they open? Nothing's open. Nothing's open. Nope. They're giving out food stamps. There's no grocery stores around here open. <laughs> Once I filled out the application for FEMA, right. then the SBA called me. Called said you. That FEMA referred me to them and said and asked me if I needed to go filling out an application. They said if I fill out the application for the SBA loan, then it could help my assistance that I received from FEMA if I get declined. That's bribery. If you take the loan, then you'll get more help from FEMA. But if you get the loan, then you don't get as much help from FEMA. So, they're saying take a loan that you have to pay back. Yeah. So that's not help because you have to pay interest. Correct. So that actually harms you. But it's the lowest amount of interest. It's only 4% or 8% for other people. And they were actually saying that it could help your chances getting assistance from FEMA. Yes, if you get declined. If you get declined. But if you don't get declined, then FEMA won't help you. They'll probably give you a little bit, but I, they work. it sounds like they're working hand in hand to see who could get what. This doesn't sound good because it sounds like it's a deliberate manipulation, you know, to, to, to make money, to steal money from people who are really hurting. But you also said that they were trying to buy this, these properties. More downtown, of, if you go downtown, they're trying to buy those properties, you know, because it's downtown. They're trying to build downtown up. Right. But, let me be honest with But you. people wouldn't sell. They didn't yeah, want to sell. No. These houses have been in people's families for years. Okay. So then they have this flood. <laughs> and now people can't sell their property, so the it's an easy SBA way to get people. Will refinance your house, which is. If you don't pay on that loan, or right. if something happens, I don't know. It's, it's awful. That's just. This is awful. So, yes. Oh. The only people that are reaching out to us are the people who give out loans. That's SBA. It's, you know, thank you, but if I have to pay it back, then you're really not helping me at all. Right. So, thank you for the SBA. We Appreciate you. That's who you heard from? SBA, yeah. small the business? Have to say about they have called several we times lost for our us to business. come on. Our business went underwater in Central. Yes. And uh, they told us we had to get a loan just to try to redo our business. 
and that was also in a non-flood area. Oh. It's just, I don't, they don't really, when you lease these places to get businesses, they don't say, okay, well look, you need flood insurance. Really when you just rent it's, the, you the know, place to occupy the space. It's, it's, it's not easy. It's hard, but. Well, then you put your hard earned money up in that business. And you never pay for it. I mean, it's a tax write off, but I mean, they're not going to give me $30,000 back from starting that business from the ground up. Did you guys get any, did you lose a lot from Katrina or Isaac or um, Rita? Katrina, we didn't lose a lot. I was young. I was in high school in Katrina, but my, my mom, she did sponsor a family and allowed a family to come and live with us for, during um, those times. Mm -hmm. And they actually just lost everything again as well. Oh, Jesus. They stay right around the corner. They actually just lost everything again. So you haven't heard from FEMA? You haven't heard from um, any... Have you heard from the Red Cross? No. Well, I can tell you this much. They did approve for us to go get a hotel room while our house is being gutted and everything else. But there's no space in any hotels around here. And they're only it's only a limited list. If you, could, you could Google the list that they provide for the hotels that they'll pay for. And... It's like 20. It's not even that many. What are you going to do? Tough it out. Be strong. Have faith. Pray. That's all you can do. You're a better woman than I am. <laughs> I'm pissed. And it didn't even happen to me. Yeah, but anger doesn't really solve or help anything. All right, all right, all right. I know. <laughs> Um, you know, I, the, the problem that I think we're having here in our country is that Americans are really not kind of banding together. Have you found that people are banding together from this flood and helping one another? I must admit, from last month, what happened to Alton Sterling and then what happened to the police officers this was that blessing that needed to happen to bring everybody together because it didn't matter what color you are, what, you know, how much money you had. If they can come and get you, they were coming to get you. If they can help you, they could, they're coming to help you. So, yes, this did extend that helping hand that needed to happen in Baton Rouge. Um, I actually did it. see a, yeah, a YouTube video it. of somebody who posted and said that they felt that the flood was like bittersweet. He didn't say bittersweet, but that it was healing yes. because people were really kind of coming together and helping one another. But, you know, I mean, how many times can you just keep losing things and losing things and losing things? And when you get that the government's not going to be stepping in to help out um, and insurance companies, you know they're only going to be screwing you, yeah. you know? that Americans really, we got to think outside the box. Yes, we have to help each other. We can't depend on the government to help that Louisiana. We can't depend on Red Cross to do everything. They can't accept certain clothes. They can't, you know, certain donations they can't accept. Um, and a lot of people don't want to donate because they don't trust Red Cross. Because yeah. the higher tiered employees get these fabulous salaries and a whole lot of people are not getting helped by Red it's, Cross. It's, it's really hard, even in nowadays, to trust anyone. I know. Um, I know. I noticed your look on your face. You were like, who is that? <laughs> because you, you never know what, I know. what could happen. What, it's, you just have to pray. That's all it is. You just pray. And a lot of people think that the storm is the punishment for what has happened on either side. No, God does not punish. He restores. So any opportunity that the devil has to destroy, God has to restore okay. and rebuild. Yeah. And to, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I I would hate to think that God would do this kind of stuff to people. People are crazy. You know, in Louisiana, we're very religious. 